Hi guys, it's Cherie with The Painted Lady. I'm doing this video as a collaboration with our Creative Business Skills Group. Hopefully we'll learn a little bit about each other and you'll get to know me and the rest of the folks that are in this group. And if you would, please skip on to the next video after this one, you'll learn some great stuff. So it's exciting. As you can see, I am moving. I'm moving my shop, how about that? I've got a new location. It is called the White Cottage Vintage Designs. It is in Spring Branch and it's at District 44. It's really, really cute little cottages and there's restaurants and there's all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. So I'll try to give you some pics of what's going on there. So here we are in the car waiting for the truck to get unloaded. You guys, I've, they're doing awesome. I really <laughs> couldn't do it without them. I'm getting ready to go into the hospital in a couple of days to have a hernia repaired. So yay me, that's going to be a recovery. Then after that, I have a knee replacement. So and opening the shop at the same time. So a little prayer wouldn't hurt at all. <laughs> so, but no, this is, Evan's waving hi. <laughs> this has been an adventure. I had no clue that I had five storage units and they're not small. Some of them are like seven and a half by 20. I've got a 10 by 20. It's just crazy. You don't realize how much stuff you gather up over like two years that I've been there. I had no clue. I had gathered up that much stuff. But, you know, it's going to be great. It's a new shop. I'm so excited. So, I am going to show you some things here that, um, well, you know, okay, start it here. They wanted us to say something about us. You know, well, oh, while I wait here, maybe I'll just tell you a little bit about me and about Evan. I had started doing crafting probably after my mom died. She died uh, when I was real young at 14. And after that, I she used to sew. I mean, first of all, she used to sew everything. She was awesome. World War II, she worked in a factory doing sewing. And so she knew everything about sewing and it was great. And um, she taught me a lot just watching her. It was fantastic. Then I decided to, after she passed away, the sewing machine sat there for a while and sat there. And then I finally decided, I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna start sewing some things. And I did, and I took off. I started doing all kind of crafting. I used to be in craft shows. I used to, oh my goodness, this is in Southern Mississippi. If you cannot tell by my accent that I am from Mississippi, it's kind of a blend of Texas and Mississippi accent. So, but um, I miss back home, but you know, I love Texas. I'm a transplant here. And I guess I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life probably, but. Yeah, but that's a little bit about me. I mean, I love to craft. I love what I do. I love, and, and I'm nervous. I'll tell you that right now. I'm nervous about opening the shop. I've never had my own shop. I've always had a booth. So in that respect, you know, it's a little bit scary, but I think we're gonna do great. We're in a great area. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. my new shop it is the white cottage vintage designs and i am so excited this has been a crazy crazy time right now this is going to be it's called the district on 46. all these little cabin houses are little cute cottages they're going to set up for people to come and shop and they've already got some built and they're working on other ones and they've got the coffee shop right there and they're going to have a bar and they're going to have food trucks and everything. But I'm on the porch of my new shop. And this thing is so cool. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see if we can walk in if it's not too dark and see what it looks like. There's a big window right there. Okay. See if I can walk. It's kind of steady. But it's, it's a little dark in here. I have the lights fixed up. Now they've got some storage from. They took this from a house. Um, it was like an addition to a house. And they kind of tore the rest of the house down but saved this and they saved a lot of the kitchen stuff. So they're gonna take all this out. And this is almost 600 square feet, which it looks a lot bigger than it is. But I mean, with the stuff in here, it is a little claustrophobic, but I love the walls. I love the ceiling. Love, love, love it. And the wood floors, of course, that are filthy, but Oh my goodness, and the bay window in the back. 
Uh, that green's gotta go, but <laughs> other than that, this is cool. So here's the size in the window there. I don't think I have a window there because that thing's blocking it. I may, I may have a window there. Could, I don't know, I have to go outside and look. <laughs> I just went through this really quick with the realtor. And let's see, if you go around the corner here, you can see, I shut the door. There's a big closet right here. And I don't like the mirror to look at the closet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the chalkboard looking vinyl to put on top of that. So you can write pretty things on it and stencil really gorgeous things on it. So that's a good size closet for storage, for supplies and stuff. So I'm excited. It has a top to it up here, it's open. So I could put some stuff up there and it would look super cool. And of course, that light fixture's gotta go. I got plenty of light fixtures that I'm gonna put in here. But, um, yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited. Um, it's not gonna be ready till maybe 1st of July, mid part of July. But, I mean, come on, this is great. I'm gonna do the back door. And I'm gonna have a place to do classes outside and I'm gonna have like a, a wedding tent, but a real nice one, I don't want a cheapy plastic one. I'm gonna have a real nice wedding tent that I'm gonna set up and therefore I could get more people in to my places. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> this bay window is huge. Like I said, that green's gotta go. But, let me see, come around the corner here. Now, I don't know what was here. I don't know what they were doing, if that was like a little mini bar or something that they had, I have no clue. But, it's either gonna go or I'm gonna use it for something. I don't know, but I'm thinking it's gotta go. It really doesn't serve any purpose at all unless I had it as part of my check stand, but I may use that little pony wall part, but the top of it, I don't see me using that. But I can go around the corner and here is the bathroom. I have not been in here, but that one time, <laughs> a realtor. Okay. Look at that shower. I don't know why I want to do <laughs> Why do I need a huge shower like this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with a massive shower. But I probably, I like the, <laughs> I like the cabinets and stuff. Those are cute. I, I hate the sink. Yeah, toilet's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is part of a house. So, this is a massive shower. <clears throat> I guess if you desperately need a shower, you can come in here and get one. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do the vinyl on top of this too, to kind of hide it and use that as storage or something. I just can't imagine, you know, having to use it as a shower, but it needs to be one, we can do it. So. I guess that's it, <laughs> but I got pretty much everything. I'm one of the only units here that has um, its own bathroom. Most of them have like a community bathroom on the outside. Let's see if that goes to the closet. Nope, I'm no interest in the closet. Let's go to the other side. Um, they have a, a lot of those community bathrooms everywhere. So um, they're doing that and, and I think it's gonna be cool. They're right close to the bungalows or the little cabins, so it's not a big deal. And these are not overnight cabins, these are all retail cabins. So, yeah, I'm excited, guys. I am, I can't wait to take you along this journey that I'm on to get this shop ready to go, hopefully July or August. So, keep my fingers crossed and see. I've got a lot of work to do, and they've got a lot of work to do too. <laughs> all right, yeah, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys, every single one of you. You have no idea, but I do. I really appreciate you. Y'all take care.